Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. This video is an answer to Alan Me, who asked how to export stems, tracks, uh, with all the same beginning, so when somebody else loads them in a project, they all align perfectly. So in this video, we're going to check how to export stems from Magic Simplitude Pro X4. Let's dive in right away. Let's open a project. Like this. Um, and you can click on this icon to see the whole project from start to end. And after that, uh, you can cl click on this one to see all the tracks. And we will deactivate uh, loops and mo uh, monitoring. There we go. Uh, and of course, solos. Let's listen to the song just a tiny bit. The roses in your hair. Can you smell okay, of course, this song isn't mixed at all, but uh, for the sake of the example, we will uh, export the stems. Um, now, the thing is, if you want every track to start from the same point, you could select um the range first that start with the first measure and uh so when you export the stems there will be a silence at the beginning okay and um so in the x3 version there was in file a uh, track bounce uh option but they removed it and replaced it with the advanced export track and bouncing. And what we want to do is um, ignore all the routing, uh, make sure that there's nothing coming back uh, from external uh, devices and in the inputs. After that, uh, you can choose marked range to apply the range that we, uh, we selected. And here is the choice. You can choose all audible tracks individually um, or all selected tracks. For this example, I did not select any tracks, so they will be all exported like this. And uh, you can exclude uh, the master effects, ex exclude the tracks effects. Um, and of course choose a format new files uh, you can even uh, create a new uh, VIP project from uh, the files that are created but here we want uh, separate files to send to another studio so create new audio file the format should be the same as your project and then you click OK and it will ask some questions. But before we go, uh, this option will make a lot of difference. Uh, if you know that every tracks are mono, you can choose mono. Uh, if it's a mix, uh, then you need to know uh, which tracks are mono and which tracks are stereo and export them separately. So one thing we're going to do, we're going to push on cancel and we're going to select all the tracks that we know they are in uh, mono, like those, and we're going to push mono. Uh, same thing with the bass, acoustic guitar. Um, actually, with this project, it seems that all the tracks are mono. So we're okay. If, it, if they weren't, we would uh, go and select the tracks as stereo and leave them uh, away and all the mono should be selected mono. Uh, another thing we should do is put all the panning uh, in the center. So I'm gonna open the mixer And there's a function right here, stereo, that will reset all the panning and all the volumes. 
So let's, uh, you should save the project as another name before you do that, if you want to save the projects afterward. But let's push on uh, stereo, reset stereo, yes. You see all the pannings are at zero and all the volumes at, are at zero. So you will be uh, exporting uh, all the objects at the same volume that they were recorded. Let's close this. and go back to our export options. So again, um, in your the routing, only the mark range, that's fine. Uh, all audible tracks individually exclude tracks effect. This won't exclude virtual instruments, of course. Um, create new client, uh, everything seems fine. Click OK, they will, it will ask where to put those files and we will put them in a new folder and then we click OK and it will start to process. If we go into that a folder, you'll see the files appearing once they are processed. Okay, so now that they are all exported, let's test them. We're going to open a new project. New project. Test stems. Let's start with uh, eight mono tracks and we will add more afterward. Create new project. Okay. So insert new tracks. There were 37, so we will add uh, 30. And then we're going to go into the folder. You can click on type to have all the same file types together. Then choose all the tracks and insert them into your project by dragging them. Or you could uh, use the import option. Cancel. So import, load the audio file. And you go uh, to the same folder. Here we go. Uh, use selection and uh, load files uh, to select the tracks in a row. Different tracks, very important there. Uh, okay. And there we go. If you want to see all the tracks, and we, we push play. Guy. Okay, what you need to know that is that um, the mute options are ignored. So even the mute tracks are fully there. Uh, and every, uh, of course you will get an empty measure at the, at the beginning of the song. You see there's nothing. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and put questions and comments below because this is what helps the channel to go forward. And of course, don't forget to share my videos. It's always a great help. See you soon.